Welcome, everybody. Okay, we're doing this class called Five Ways to Live Like a Free Spirit During Quarantine and Beyond, pretty much. So this is kind of a good way to live all the time. And what I want is just the first thing to do is to do some cleansing breaths. And so you're just going to inhale through your nose, but you're going to exhale with a sigh. So if you want to mute yourself, if you like, but just to sit there and just inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. And I want you to kind of let the shoulders feel like everything relaxes on that exhale. So do a couple more. Do one more. So let your breath relax, but keep your eyes closed. And I just want you to notice how you feel. Like just doing those breaths, I feel a lot better than I did 20 minutes ago. So that just feels good. So that's um, a really nice breath just to help you chill out, shift your stuff a little bit. Um, I like doing that one sometimes after I watch the news or um, I've been talking to somebody who's kind of feeling, I don't know, negative and maybe my heart's, you know, been kind of racing that when you do that inhale, but exhale out of the mouth, it really kind of slows the heart rate down. And that's, that's a gift to ourselves. So we're going to do one thing here. So we're doing some things from my book, but just in a little bit of a different way. So there's an exercise in my book called Thoughts Become Things. And this is it here. And what I think is so fun. So there's a quote here. It says, once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. And I love that that is a Willie Nelson quote. So that's a big thing. So there's a whole exercise in the book about it. We're going to do some like a, just a different take on it. And I just want you to think of a negative thought that maybe you've been having lately um, that's kind of been recurring. There might be more than one or you can um, think of it might actually be a sentence it might be more of a feeling but I want you just to bring that into your mind the one that you've been kind of getting stuck with like it could be around safety there could be some fear at the beginning of quarantine I had been feeling um, on like I couldn't get, like I was worried about, I mean, it was really kind of shocking at the beginning and I was worried I wouldn't be able to get like insulin for my child that has diabetes. And I was just, it was not making me feel good and it has not been a problem. But so I had changed it to saying, I, I am safe, I stay positive and draw in every, or when I stay positive, I draw in everything I need. And that has just really helped me a lot. But so we're not switching to the positive thought just yet. I want you just to think about the negative thought, maybe negative thoughts and feelings you've been having. And then we're gonna do just a little bit of a forgiveness thing. So sometimes when you realize you're having these negative thoughts and you beat yourself up over them, and especially during a time like this, and we have even more time to be in our head, that you might be really beating yourself up over it. So. I want to use the, that Hawaiian Hopanopo prayer. So just with your eyes closed, we're going to your awareness to those negative thoughts that you've been having. And I just want you to say to yourself, you can do this quietly or out loud and just say, I forgive you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I love you. Just making that a nice gift to yourself. If you happen to have been really struggling with a lot of things, a nice thing you could do is start writing them down. And then you'd put your fingers kind of on each like negative thought or limiting belief maybe that you've been having and say that, say that prayer. And you'll really kind of create a release around that. And I think I'm going to be sharing that in my next, in my next book. And uh, which... I'm gonna bring up here, I started working on it unintentionally. And uh, but so I did, I was thinking about a lemon cleansing visualization. So then I decided to do watercolor lemons 
And I realized I happened to do this on a Sunday when my friend Kristen was working on the sacral chakra. And so I couldn't believe that I ended up painting yellow on that same day, so I was tuned in. And so I've just been doing some other little paintings. There's gonna be a rose one, there's gonna be rosemary, and there's gonna be a forgiveness one. So try doing that. I've been doing that a lot. I've been working on limiting beliefs during this time, forgiving and forgiving myself for them. So hopefully that felt really good and you'll be want to use that prayer often. Okay, so from that, I want you to shift. So another breathing exercise that kind of helps, especially after that, that maybe you want to just feel a little bit calmer. So we're going to do the lunar breath. And so that means we're going to breathe only through our left nostril. And we're going to do it for a minute. So I'm going to have a timer. So just sit comfortably. Try to have your spine, you know, pretty straight. And you're going to take your right hand. I do the first two fingers and I close the right nostril. That might look backwards on here, but you're going to close your right nostril. And so we're beginning. And I just, with your eyes closed, start to breathe only through your left nostril. breathing deeply, but I want you to check in to see if your jaw is clenched or your shoulders are hunched up. Try to relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. So we have about 20 seconds left. So let your right hand come down, keep your eyes closed, and start taking a couple deep inhales and exhales out of both nostrils. And I want you to let your breath just relax. And again, after breathing exercises, it's so nice just to notice how you feel. So the lunar breath is in a section of my book called Connecting the sun, the moon, and your breath. So this one, it's really good. It's a cooling breath if you're feeling hot, which in Arizona we're starting to. And then if you're feeling anxious, angry, frustrated, or something similar, it's really just a really nice thing to do. It's a full moon this Thursday too. That'll be a nice, that would be a nice breath to practice there. So I wanted to add too that like during this time to kind of feel a little bit more free, having a meditation practice is nice. And sometimes if you feel like it's hard to meditate, doing like that breath for like one minute or three minutes is nice. And then you could either stay sitting or you could lay down and then just let your breath relax and use that as your meditation. So using the breath as a way to meditate is just a real nice to bring that practice into your life. Okay, so we're gonna do a little guided meditation. So one of the things that I said is a good way to be like a free spirit during this time is to travel without leaving your home. So one of those ways I had was playing music, associating it with what you're cooking and just different ways of doing that. And I shared a video on social media of listening to Italian music. And that's one of my favorite ways to feel like I've traveled. But my other one is this intuition meditation we're gonna do. So I'm going to actually read it from here so that if you have the book, we're doing, we're doing the same one. So this is going to involve a little bit of travel and its intention is to help you tap into your intuition. So the quote I have at the beginning of this is don't try to comprehend with your mind. Your minds are very limited. Use your intuition. So that's our intention here. Okay, so I want you to get comfortable. And so for meditation, I do find sitting up is better. You're telling the mind that you're not going to sleep by lying down, you know, so you're just kind of going into something deeper. If you need your back supported, that's always really nice too. Okay. So close your eyes. Again, I want you to check in shoulders and jaw. That's at least for me where I tend to tense up. It might be somewhere else. So kind of just do a quick scan of your body, head to toe, 
Just try to relax. Okay, and you're gonna allow your breath to be relaxed. Okay, so in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine that you're standing at the top of a spiral staircase. I want you to feel the railing in your hand. Notice if it is cool or warm to the touch. Slowly spiral down the stairs. Feel each step beneath your feet. Keep spiraling and spiraling. Noticing each step as you spiral down, down, down. After spiraling multiple times, you come to the bottom and step into a beautiful natural setting. One that makes you feel whole. Maybe you've been here before. Maybe you dream of going here, or maybe you've never seen this place before. Begin to follow the path in front of you. Look around and notice your surroundings. Take in all the sights. Notice if there are any smells. Reach out and touch something near you. Keep walking. And just really enjoy yourself walking on this path. Take this path until you find the perfect place to sit or lie down. Notice that you feel calm. Know that you are exactly where you are supposed to be. Just relax in the space that you have chosen to get in touch with your intuition. Become aware of the fact that all of the answers you seek are here if you want them. Put out into the universe a question you have or an idea of your, or an area of your life you desire guidance around. Notice if any words or impressions come right away. If nothing comes, know that the answers and opportunities will show up at the right time and that you will remain open to receiving them. Just relax. Again, look around your surroundings. Take in all the things you find beautiful. So now begin to take your time and get back up. Begin to walk back to the path. Start to walk along the path. You see the bottom of the staircase in front of you. Begin to climb the staircase. Spiraling up, up, up. Feel the steps under your feet and the railing in your hand.
when you get to the top of the staircase, take a deep breath. Feel gratitude for your life, your body, your mind, and your connection to the universe. And then silently say to yourself, I tap into my intuition and know myself deeply. So I'm just gonna pause for a moment, keep your eyes closed and just relax. Notice how you feel compared to maybe this morning, yesterday, or just before this class. I want you to bring to your mind that negative thought that you brought to your mind earlier. And I want you to take a moment here to choose a new thought, a more positive thought. It can be related to the negative thought or it can be just something positive that comes into your mind right now. Notice if it's easier for how you feel right now to reach for that new thought. I want to put some energy into this new thought. So now we're going to switch to do the solar breath, which is energizing. It's kind of associated more with warming you up and masculine energy, but kind of just bringing that fiery energy into this positive affirmation or positive thought that you're going to take with you forward. So now you're going to close the left nostril. I'm gonna set the timer, okay, and start breathing through the right nostril. So left is closed. Try to take some nice deep inhales and exhales out of the right. Again, check that your jaws relaxed, shoulders are relaxed. Listen to the sound of your breath. Maybe repeat that positive thought a couple times. Okay, allow that left hand to come down. Take a couple deep breaths through both nostrils. Notice how you feel, maybe a little more energized. It's just noticing how you feel overall. So everything we just did together, if you kind of sprinkle those throughout your day and throughout your week, it really will help you be able to kind of feel more like a free spirit during this time. Kind of tuning in, giving time to yourself, going to a beautiful place. The other thing on my list was taking a break from social media. So that's why I wanted to do this on Zoom so that you didn't have to go on social media for it. I've taken social media off my phone on Sundays um, and it's just, it's been helpful for me. I feel like some people react differently and it's not always good for me. So I, I definitely, and then taking a break from news sometimes. I mean, trying not to feel like you're, like you're getting informed, but not feeling like you're kind of overdosing on it and that it's really affecting your mental health. Um, so I'm trying to remember that I went through, I think we covered all of them. I wrote them down here. We did. Okay, so just kind of put your palms in front of you. Just take a nice deep inhale, nice long exhale, and just thank yourself 
for coming here today and taking this time for yourself. Now we can go forward being free spirits together.